Throughout the history of the church, our Lord has revealed the treasures of his sacred heart in diverse ways to men. The devotion to his heart has become a ray of mercy and hope continually poured out over the face of the earth. It was in this heavenly ambience that our Lord appeared to St. Margaret Mary several times and revealed his heart to her with these touching words. Behold this heart which has so loved men that it spared nothing, even going so far as to exhaust and console itself to prove to them its love. And in return, I receive from the majority of men nothing but ingratitude. In the book Appeal of Love, Message of the Sacred Heart of Jesus to the World and its Messenger, Sister Josepha Menendez, we can read marvelous messages in which our Lord speaks about His love for souls, especially the souls of poor sinners. Here are some extracts of this beautiful message. If souls only knew how much I wait for them full of mercy and I cannot rest except in pardoning. I am always waiting with love for souls to come to me. Come, throw yourselves in my arms, do not fear. I know the depths of souls, their passions, their attraction to the world and to pleasures. I know from all eternity how many souls will fill my heart with bitterness and that for a great number of them my sufferings and my blood will be useless. But I still love them, just as I have always loved them. It is not sin that wounds my heart most. What crushes it is that souls do not want to take refuge in me after having sinned. Yes, I crave to pardon and I want my chosen souls to make known to the world how my heart waits for sinners overflowing with love and mercy. I would like to make known to the souls that I never refuse my graces to them, not even when they are loaded with the most grave sins. And I do not separate from those whom I love with predilection. I keep them all in my heart to give to each one the mercy that his state demands. I desire to make them understand that they should not distance themselves from me just because they are in mortal sin. They should not think that there is no longer a cure for them and that they will never more be loved as before. No, poor souls, these are not the feelings of a God who shed all his blood for you. Come to me and do not fear because I love you. I will wash you in my blood and I will make you whiter than snow. Your sins will be drowned in the waters of my mercy and it will not be possible to remove from my heart the love that I have for you. My heart is infinitely wise but also infinitely holy and since it knows human frailty and misery, it leans towards poor sinners with infinite mercy. I do not tire of souls and my heart always waits for them to come and take refuge in it, no matter how miserable they may be. Does not a father take more care of a son who is sick than of those who are well? With this son, does he not have a greater solicitude and tenderness? So also my heart pours out its compassion and tenderness with more liberality over sinners than over the just. Give me your love and never distrust mine, and above all, Give me your confidence and do not doubt my mercy. It is easy to expect all from my heart. So spoke the Divine Redeemer. This is how he continues to speak to us with the same profound and intimate love of a Father and God. Let us make every effort to follow his loving appeal, to place in him this complete confidence of children who can obtain everything from infinite mercies of his omnipotent heart. Let us pray to Mary Most Holy, Mother of the Sacred Heart, that she may intercede for us. 
to him in order that this ardent furnace of charity never ceases to illuminate the horizons of the lives of each one of us to warm our own hearts and make us open our souls to his love which is eternal and is never exhausted the only love capable of transforming the world and human life